Glory to God. Thank you for joining me, my beautiful family in Christ, and I thank you for your continued support. It's so obvious when Satan is intimidated because he goes out of his way to intimidate the body of Christ. And because you've been making consistent strides, you've been making covenant with the Lord, you've been keeping covenant with the Lord, you've been bearing fruit and keeping with repentance, you've been giving him praise and worship, you've been doing the things that formerly you may not have. And the kingdom of darkness doesn't like that. And, you know, the funny thing is the word tells us that Jesus is the lion of Judah. He is. And that Satan is like. He is like a roaring lion prowling back and forth looking for whom he may devour. He is not truly, you know, he's, he's a deceiver. He's an illusion and a delusion. We must be aware of his schemes but understand that he doesn't have the spiritual authority to overcome you. He can tempt you. He can threaten you. I have a vision of like a dog, a rabid dog behind a fence, and the dog is snarling and barking. Uh, but he is behind the fence because the Lord covers what belongs to him. Spiritual warfare in a nutshell is James 4, 7. Submit to God, resist the enemy, and the enemy will flee because he must. You know, praise the Lord that we don't have to learn about darkness and study darkness so we can walk in the light. The Lord says, no, no, no. I cover you. Just submit to me. You know, I'm your leader. I'm your chief in command. I'm your God. I'm your father. Just submit to me. Resist the enemy with that free will I've given you and the enemy will flee. What did the enemy threaten Jesus with after Jesus had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights? Food. And then when Jesus wouldn't be tempted, the enemy came back at an opportune time. These are the schemes of the enemy. He's going to hit you where you are weak and he's going to try to come at a time when you are weak so stay submitted to the lord when you're going through a rough time cling to the lord more you know when your feelings aren't perhaps on par really dig into the lord because you know the enemy he's prowling like a roaring lion looking for whose faith he may devour because he comes to steal kill and destroy what faith Ultimately, that's what he wants is the faith of the believer. So stay on fire for the Lord. Keep making those beautiful strides in the kingdom of God because the kingdom of darkness is greatly intimidated as evidenced by Satan trying to intimidate those in the body of Christ. Do not be intimidated. You are covered by the Lord. James 4, 7, resist the enemy and the enemy will flee as you continue to submit to God.